time to this cosplay tutorial. Now, quite a while ago I decided I wanted to make a Viking or medieval inspired dress for the three Nintendo princesses Peach, Daisy and Rosalina. And to do just that, I used the exact same method on all three dresses, so it got me thinking it could probably be useful to share because it's very easy to alter into many different designs. So, in this video I'll show you how I easily made a Viking inspired dress for my Viking Princess Peach cosplay. Let's go! First thing, fabric. Princess Peach has a light pink and a hot pink color on her dress, so I went with these when choosing fabrics. She also has an outer layer on her dress, so I wanted to make the hot pink fabric into an apron for a more medieval look. Lay the fabric for the base dress double and make sure it's flat. Then find a roomy t-shirt to measure the top of the dress. The fabric I chose is not at all stretchy, and the dress will fit nicely with the belt anyways, so don't be scared to make it too big. I drew the pattern directly on the fabric with some chalk, before cutting the whole length of the dress after the length of the fabric piece. For the color I drew on the front side and cut half of it, so only the front side leaving the second layer. Then I folded the fabric and cut it symmetrically on the other side. The apron I also folded in two and lay on top of the cut dress. I measured where the shoulders would be and cut a rectangle for the collar. I also didn't want it to go all the way down, so I cut it at my desired length, which for me was about knee height. Now to pin all the sides together on the dress. On the apron only the shoulders are necessary to pin together. Now the next step is an optional detail that I chose to do because of the design of Peach's dress. I took some hot pink fabric again, laid it double once, then twice the other way and cut a 10 cm strip to be the bottom of the dress. That way when you unfold it, it makes a 20 cm strip that goes all the way around the bottom of the dress. Sew everything together and get started on the edges. Already here you can start altering and create your own pattern, because the base of the dress is already finished. For the bottom lining I folded it back to 10 cm again and sewed the ends together to make a circle the same diameter as the dress. Then I pinned it to the bottom so the seams of the ends would appear on the inside of the dress before sewing it on. I also made an extra seam on the outside to make the connection between the two fabrics more flat. For Peach, of course, I went with the clean look, so I refined all the edges on the apron first with a fancy visible seam in white as a decoration. On the base dress, the decoration seam was also hot pink, with a different style of seam than the apron. On the arm sleeves, I made the seams with the same color as the dress, but I made a very closed zigzag seam, so it seemed thicker than a regular one for more texture. And here you see the Princess Peach dress all finished before adding any accessories you'd like. To tighten the dress, I'm using a leather belt that is too big for me, wrapping it in the front in real Viking style. The decoration seam stands out and can also be replaced by decorative ribbons if you want. An example of altering this is the Daisy dress, which is the same dress with yellow on the base dress, slightly longer arms, and white lining on the sleeves. Also the apron is orange and has green decoration seams. Or my Rosalina, which is the same concept but looks completely different. Here I simply just didn't waste much fabric when cutting the dress, going from the bottom corner of the folded fabric and cutting all the way to the armpit. Also, all the added details on the dresses gives them each a different look that suits the character in mind. I hope you liked this video. For more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and if you want to support my work, you can always get me a cup of coffee. All links are in the description below. Bye bye!